Well, this is an outstanding kickboxer making his way to the UFC Octagon right now. Very interesting stylistic matchup here tonight. Just an outstanding arsenal of kicks. Great punching technique. Power in both hands. Works the lead leg. Not afraid to work the body. Just a complete kickboxer here. Now plying his trade in mixed martial arts. A dangerous proposition for anyone caught in his striking range. This guy is a Muay Thai fighter. He will utilize all eight points of attack, whether it's the two fists, two elbows, two knees, or two kicks. His attacks are devastating, and his striking is his specialty. So here is the stun gun, Dong Hyun Kim. This is a man who puts South Korea on the UFC map. Very talented southpaw. Well-rounded fighter with a great judo game. Very good with his takedowns, but also has a lot of power. And he's a guy who enters that pocket with a fearlessness, Joe, that has endeared him to UFC fans around the world. Dong Young Kim is an extremely talented judo player and a well-rounded mixed martial artist. Very effective takedowns, a solid submission game, and he has some power in that straight left of his. Kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Kim is 12 years his senior. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a six inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Tom Fire Kid Duquesne. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of. 22 wins, four losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Dong Young Stone Dong Kim! All right, the rules in the locker room. Once you obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go Ready? down right go now. Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. No better place to be on fight night. We are underway here at the T-Mobile Arena. All right, round one is underway. The South Korean Dong Hyun Kim is back, and he brings with him some momentum tonight, Joe. We'll see how he chooses to attack this particular challenge. If he wants to lean on the judo, that figures to be the path of least resistance. Jab now, no good. Effective lead right hand there by Duquesne. Wow, well, the right and the left behind it. Just misses there with the left. Oh, flying knee! Hard straight punch. Very nice. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Control. 
excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Trying to spin to the back. In full guard here. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here, you'd like to see that, Joe. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Big shot from the bottom. There's a left hand. Tries to get out of full guard and into half, but doesn't make it. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the boxes. Kim gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he connects there. Oh, Kim going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Big punch from the bottom. Perfectly timed sweep. Very nice sweep, winds up in his opponent's guard. Tries to pass from full guard to half guard, but can't. Nice sweep. Duquesne Watt gets the takedown. Now let's see if he chooses to pass here, Joe. He's got half guard. Oh, Kim gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Trying to pass here in his side control. Can't make it. Under two minutes now to go in round one. He's going for a choke here. Trying to work that arm underneath the chin. His opponent's defending well. That choke is locked up. From there, he wants to grab a hold of his bicep, and he wants to put his other hand behind his opponent's head for maximum leverage. Stunning. Stunning. And he really made it look easy. Set up the choke, completed the job, and got the victory. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here, and the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bob Young Stunder! Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though...